Hello everyone, Shohan, and this is an experimental project. Uh, what we are doing here is uh, we are controlling an ESP8266 Wi Fi module using an Arduino DU, and what it does is it will send uh, data to this Raspberry Pi, which is running a web server, and that web server will take the data from the sent from the due and it will store it in a text file okay so what we are doing here is it says press a to begin process the arduino due is hooked up to my pc and this hyper terminal so if we press a it will try to detect the Wi-Fi module it has found it it will now disable eco and we'll show you the firmware and now it says that it is connected to this Raspberry Pi web server um, and now it says enter your data and press enter okay so we are entering something anything say Dhaka and it is showing that now if we press enter we'll have to wait for a little and it says done that means it has done its job now we are heading to our raspberry pi web server to check if the file has been updated and i'm using putty and the name of this file is test.txt let's see yeah it says Dhaka so let's have a slight look at what we are trying to do it's a pretty simple code the code should be a little bit more complex because uh, I haven't done anything for you know unpredictable situations okay so what I'm trying is I'm running two serial ports one is connected to obviously my PC and another is connected to the Wi-Fi module okay so first we are entering AT if it says OK there is a custom function for that we say device found okay then we are disabling the echo we are showing this firmware version which is just simple optional case and we are not connecting we are not running the command to connect to a Wi-Fi network because that's not necessary my Wi-Fi module is already connected to my uh, home Wi-Fi network. Okay. And then we are opening, I guess, a single channel. And then we are actually connecting to our server at port 80. That's fine. And now we are entering the data. And we are checking if uh, we have pressed enter after entering our data and after that he is sending the data and you could see that there are two strings which I haven't shown you I'll be showing it to you now okay there are those strings these are nothing but some HTTP stuffs okay fine that was all that was what this project was all about thank you